So today I want to take you guys a little bit closer into the life of lions. Alright, a lot of people keep on asking me how, how did I manage to become part of a lion pride? How can I be so close with them at all situations? Today we want to go a little bit more into detail. What does this mean? In the world of lions, 90% is body language and only 10% is communication through vocalism or how do you, however you call it like through certain sounds they make like rolls or calls or something like that but every movement of his head of his paws combined with the tail of my eyes where do they look do i move backwards or to the front when they approach me all this is constant communication guys and if you're not aware of what they are telling you if you can't understand them or don't see it that's where the real struggle starts and that's where it gets dangerous this is the moment where Dexter shows the girls, listen, it's over. Look there. He's not ready to play any games anymore. And there is a huge difference between being respected and accepted by a lion in his environment or being part of his family, being actual part of his pride. Now, I didn't teach them any language. They don't speak my language. I actually came here and learned their language. That's why I have to communicate as a line in their language. It's not they're not trained. They, if I would tell Dexter to sit down or get up or go there, he would look at me and think like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm the king here, I'm making the rules, and I'm cool with that. They are making the rules, and I follow their rules. Once I enter that lion area here, so this is lion property here, come with me. I have to leave all my human behaviors, my human thinking, and everything what's human about me out there. Because in here, I have to be a lion. I have to think like a lion, I have to act like a lion in every single situation. This is Nyla. She's the first one to dig into an animal, to do her job, and she's amazing in it. This is why she's so bloody. It's part of socializing within a lion pride, because they lick each other to clean each other as well. Now, unfortunately, I can't lick, so I'm imitating with my hands to take the blood off her and get her clean again. Look how she's enjoying it. And this is the only way to be respected, accepted, and wanted in a lion pride. Now let's talk about respect. Now respect is essential in a lion pride, all day long, 24-7. But what does it mean? Respect means to give each other the privacy and the space they need. You often can see that lions lay on top of one another, they love affection and to cuddle, but there is also those moments when, when they don't like it or they just don't feel like it. And in those moments, they will let you know straight away. And if they let you know and you step away and respect that, then you're cool at all times. But once you don't, once you don't follow the rules and you stop respecting or overdo it by dominating one another, what happens then? No matter if it's between the lions, between males and females, or in my case, even between me and them. Don't overdo it. Leave it. Yeah, so these are the situations. <laughs> if she does it again, she'll get it again. Yeah. She can't enter my world, like my privacy, and just take over everything. And that's the same thing she does with the other ones. That's why she's the one with the most scars in the face. <laughs> Now usually they start to communicate in such situations straight away through body language. Certain movements which will show you, uh uh, step away, I don't want that. Now if you can't see that or don't respect that, they'll start getting vocal. So they'll growl or just do certain sounds which symbolizes, listen, attention, you're about to cross that line now. 
If you still continue and if you still keep on bothering them, that's where they're going to slap you, claw you, bite you, or just do something which seriously hurts you on purpose because you didn't listen to them. Okay. That's a warning. That's more warning. You see that? As I, I told you twice, I told you three times. One more time and I'll fuck you up. Unfortunately, they can't find you. They are their own police. If something hurts or bothers you, you straight away tell them. And it's absolutely no difference if it's between them, lion and lion, or between me and them. For you guys, you see a human within a lion pride. But they see just their family, their lion pride. So even in such situations, I have to react the same way. When they start using their claws on me, don't use your claws. Ah! Claws! Ah, 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 ah. There is hundreds of different types of using claws on me. There is some times where they use their back claws and I exactly know that they don't have full control over their back claws. So usually if they scratch me like this, I just leave it because I know mostly or most probably he didn't do it on purpose. Ah, 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 ah. Don't think about this. Go there and do that with Dexter. Um, ow, ow. Ow. Ah, ah. Look at this. Just happened right now. But that was not on purpose. That's just a reaction reflex thing. That's why it's okay. But if one of them uses their front claws every now and then again on me and I tell them, ah, ah, leave it, no, and they continue, that's where they want to see, okay, who's dominating whom. And the only thing I can do is use my knuckles, give them a smack, whether it's on the nose when they biting too hard or it's on the paws when they're clawing too hard or something like that. Ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Close. Leave it. And the same thing is between lines. Also most of the time, well that's how I do it, they most of the time go full on into it. I'll just quickly tap on the paws or on the nose so that they know okay now I really crossed the line already and if I don't stop now that tap is gonna get worse and worse and it's gonna start to hurt so I can imagine in that situation now that some of you guys must be asking yourself how the hell is Dean's camera guy Noe being able to be so close to them as well and get the craziest shots with Dean and the lions now it's a simple answer he's part of the lion pride as well he was here he moved basically with me to south africa two years ago and this is how he became part of the lion pride as well of course everybody has its own special relationship with the lion even in between the lines as well as me and noe with the lines so noe has to make sure since he's behind the camera to keep the distance to make sure to to have the lines in front of the camera but that doesn't mean that he has to every now and then create his respect as well. They also go for him, they also jump on him, they also use their claws on him. Now one last thing, please guys don't think just because you're patient or willing to be patient and you love lines a lot and are ready to show and receive respect that you can just jump out in Krugel National Park and walk up to some uh, uh, lion prides and bond with them. That's not gonna work. I know them since they are small. We grew up together. This is a relationship built over two years of time. Intensive work every single day. When it's raining, when it's getting bloody, when it's hot, when it's night, when it's day, you can't build that just like that or say, ah, I live according to those values and I'm ready to do that. Okay, so let me walk in there. It won't work. Not with the lions in Kruger National Park and not with Dexter and the Pride. Now these are the three fundamental things which are needed for me to become or to be now finally part of a lion pride. Of course there is another hundreds if not thousands of details I could talk about, but let's talk about that another time. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see what's next, then make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel right now. And if you want to see more content, you're so welcome to follow my other socials as well. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys later.